BMFM crew and new subscribers. This is Sonia, and this is our thrifting series, part two, How to Thrift. I want to share with you some great pointers if you are just getting into the hobby of thrifting. These are very essential things for you to know. Number one, Google search your area for thrift and consignment shops. You will be surprised how many thrift stores and how many consignment shops that there are. When I did the $20 challenge, I was pleasantly surprised uh, about all the different thrift and consignment stores in my area. And I have not made my way around to all of them yet. That's just how many there are. You need to get familiar with what is in your area because there are some wonderful treasures just waiting with your name on it. Number two, know the difference between a thrift and consignment store. They are not created equal. Thrift stores, whether large or small, consignment stores, whether large or small, are completely different. Thrift stores are places where there are random items. There may be clothing, there may be shoes, there may be housewares, there may be tools. It could be a little bit of anything, but it's usually um, rows and rows of shelves, rows and rows of garment racks that you have to take your time and sift through. And this is something that is a deterrent for a lot of people that are interested in thrifting. My girlfriend, for example, her own words is, she has the mentality about shopping like a man. I want to get what I got to do, get in and get out. Well, in a thrift shop, it's not like that. You're going to have to do a little digging. But in a consignment shop, that is a whole different situation. Consignment shops are usually a little bit more upscale, a lot more focused, and a bit more pricey. But the reason for that is the persons that are running the consignment shop are actually putting together vignettes and buying pieces to actually put together rooms so not only for you to see items but for you to imagine it in your space and also to show you how those items can be used for something outside of what their general purpose is like you may see a very pretty garbage can but they've turned it upside down and used it for a plant stand so this what this is why in a consignment shop you'll see that the prices may be a little bit more expensive, but it gives you a wonderful a view um, of the um, experience that that item could look like in your home. Number three, have a set amount that you are willing to spend. Absolutely, you must have a set amount that you are willing to spend before you jump in your car and go out to a consignment place. My set amount is usually $20 and let me tell you, I do well under that, well under that. But that is very important because if you are an avid thrifter or an addicted person like I am, you have to set a budget. You have to have a set dollar amount that you are going to spend. And I handle thrifting the way I handle everything else. If it is not the price that I am willing to pay, I leave it in the store. And I'll circle back to see if it has dropped down to where I need it to be and where I'm willing to pay. If it is, then and only then will I buy it. And if I come and it's gone, that means that was not for me and there's something else better. And I have yet to miss out when I take that advantage. I'll see something that I think that I'm so in love with and I come back and it's gone and I keep looking and I found something better 
for the price that I'm willing to pay. Okay, that was tip number three. Tip number four, choose your focus. Choose your focus. If you're new to thrifting and that kind of situation is overwhelming, you don't want to dig and get dirty, then this may not be the thing to do. If you want to jump in the game of thrifting, choose your focus. What does that mean, Sonia? That means if you're going out, go out looking for a particular item. Go out looking for a particular color. Go out and look for a particular style, but stay focused. And when you thrift like that, then you weed out all the other stuff that is around you and you stay focused on the item that you need and you never buy too much and you walk out with that prized item. That was number four. Number five, know where to shop for particular items. After you have ventured out to the different thrift and consignment stores in your area, pay attention to what you're seeing in those stores. Then you will start to realize, okay, I'm looking for some glassware. I'm looking for, you know, things like that. Where can I find that? You know what? Retail thrift. Recovery has this. Well, today I think I might want to look for this chair, this furniture piece. I'm going to go to this particular store or this particular thrift shop for that. Hmm. You know what? I think I want to go and look for a jean jacket to go over this little sundress. Where do you need to go? When you are taking the time to pay attention to what is going on in the thrift stores, then when you get ready to make a move, you know exactly where it is that you need to go. You know where to shop for particular items. And number six, pay attention to the sales and promotions. Listen, I deal with thrift shopping just like I deal with grocery shopping and coupons and using my coupon book. I am always looking for the sale. I'm looking for the promotion. I'm looking for the best deal. So, Retail Thrift Shop has a calendar every month. And on that calendar, it tells you, on this day, this is gonna be 50% off. On this day, the clothes are gonna be 50% off. This day, the, the housewares will be 50% off. This buy one, get one free, whatever the case. Over at North Raleigh Thrift, they will have tag days where if you pull this particular tag color, everything is a dollar. Buy one, get one free. Two of the same items may be half the price of the combined price. You always want to be looking for those deals, those sales, and promotions. That's how you can take $20 and make out like a fat rat. I'm trying to tell you girls. Your girl know what to do. She know how to run that game. <laughs> All right, so these are the six tips that I have to offer you if you are a beginner into thrifting. And I hope you will take heed to those things. Take a moment out of your weekend schedule and maybe allow two hours to go out and see what you can find. And I guarantee you, you will be pleasantly surprised if you just keep in mind these essential tips for thrifting. Well, I hope this has been a blessing to you today. Again, this is Sonia. Thank you for watching, and your girl will see you next time. Bye.